I spoke with a gentleman, he's um, 70 something years old and he born and raised in Uvalde. And he was telling me something like this has never happened. The hours long search continues for the missing Texas Army National Guard soldier who was last seen here. She came in and she darted off really quickly. No time to kind of talk to the media. And we're actually here with one of her supporters here that came from San Antonio. I know a lot of parents are wondering, oh, is it too late? Good news for you. No need to worry. The CEO says that enrollment will actually continue. The Houston chapter, that one is ripping and roaring, right? Yes, it is. It's old school, but it gets the job done. That pipe is wrapped. Those plants you see there, they're going to be put inside. We all have seen the rise of anti-Semitism, not only in the country, but here in the state of Texas. But that's not stopping one San Antonio woman to live out proud and boldly with her identities. And we typically think of these large construction vehicles you're not thinking of fun and games. Thank you so much, Professor Harris, for your time. That'll do it. Back to you, Dr. Cross. All right. Thanks so much. Blessing. This is Medina Lake. Now, where I'm standing here is where the water is supposed to be. And people here tell me it's been six years since this place was full. Water is life. And for Bandera County Commissioner Bobby Harris, he says... Medina Lake sure could use a lifeline. I don't even have a creek anymore. Go get on your other cart. This is how he starts his day. Go check out the river. Let's load up. Get on your cart. Get over here. Get on your cart. Load up. There you go. With his trusty sidekick, Bullet, along for the ride. <coughs> this is his office on wheels. He gets plenty of calls about the lake during his morning rides with Bullet before heading to the county park. Medina Lake County Park. How can I help you? I guess you could tell that Bullet loves to go riding. Sadly, the journey has not been a smooth one out here at the lake. You want to go for another ride? We got to load up. For nearly two decades, Commissioner Harris says he has seen the body of water at its best, which he says was six years ago when it was full and at its worst. I've seen it near empty several times. He says most recently was in 2015 when it was down to 3%. So when you come into Medina Lake County Park, this is the, the site you'll see. A near barren wasteland. Right now, he says it's around 20% full. There's lots of water out there still. But that hasn't stopped longtime fishermen like Wayne Long from Hold stopping on. by on the weekdays. All right. We're in 60 foot of water and it's supposed to be how much? 130, 120. On average, about 120. But there are some deeper holes. So it's real bad here? Yes. We're way down. It's shallow in a hurry up here. Commissioner Harris says he's about 30 days away before possibly shutting down County Park at Medina Lake if we don't get some rain. Straight, straight ahead, due north. I have no water. He says it would be a painful decision he's had to make once in the last 16 years. I'm back in Bandera County where I was months ago covering the missing people who were later found dead here in this county. Back then, I spoke with a grieving father who shared his story about his missing daughter who was later found dead. But now, that same grieving father is behind bars. My friend and I decorated this for Brittany. She was all about Christmas. So we decorated the fig tree for her. The holiday season won't be as merry and bright for Susan McMahon. She lost her daughter Brittany the summer of 2022. She was one of three people who went missing and were later found dead in Bandera County. And now she's missing yet another close member of her family. Her husband Randy. I mean, I've already been threatened with interfering with an investigation. And like I told them, what are you going to do? Lock me up? And they did exactly that. Randy is in jail right now. They arrested him December the 6th, magistrated him on the 7th. And they got him on four counts of obstruction and retaliation. Here's a copy of the court docket I requested from the Bandera County Sheriff's Office. Each count came with a $200,000 bond. If you do the math, that's $800,000 total, nearly $1 million. These, these bond amounts are, are extremely high. It sounds almost like it's a violation of his Eighth Amendment right. You have murder cases where you don't even get a bond of that high amount. 
Oh, it's in the book already? Guillermo Lara Jr. is a criminal defense attorney in San Antonio who is not involved in this case. He says the bond isn't anywhere near what you would see in any other county, whether it's a metroplex or rural area. When, when you're dealing it with, with obstruction and retaliation with this scenario, you're talking about someone who intentionally or knowingly threatens another individual who is in a position of a, a public figure, essentially. Um, it could be someone that's a public servant. It's going to come down to what his, his state of mind was. Was his was he intentionally or knowingly threatening this individual? What did he say? Bandera County Sheriff's Office would not comment on what was said when asked, citing the case is still pending. But I requested the indictment, which states that on or about October 6, 2022, Randy intentionally or knowingly threatened to harm and threatened to kill a Texas Ranger, an investigator, sergeant, and deputy with the sheriff's office. He's a pissed off grieving father. Guillermo says a threat to someone in law enforcement is a third degree felony. And the punishment for that is two to 10 years for each count and up to 10 grand for the fine. Susan is hoping it doesn't have to get to that point. Cause I miss her and I miss him. <laughs> this summer she was thrust into the national spotlight but now that the dust has settled what is harini logan up to next well i caught up with the scripts national spelling bee champion to see a glimpse of her day are you ready yes we all know she can spell more hen m-o-o-r-h-e-n but did you know Harini Logan could also do this? It has been a busy summer full of press tours and traveling to India since being crowned the 2022 Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion. But now Harini is tackling a new hurdle. High school and also making sure she gets this Hindu song down before her big recital in October. But she loves this. She loves singing. She does the choir at school as well. So she does the Western music singing too. Long before her 14 year old was a spelling bee champ, she says her daughter has been singing since she was five years old. She is amazing. Even through all her uh, spelling bee preparation. Her life is pretty busy. 8 to 9.30? No, it's uh, Sunday now. It's moved to Sunday. 7 to 8. Yeah. yeah. Having to juggle her hobbies and responsibilities is a skill the teenager had to pick up on pretty quickly. It's, I think, definitely something I learned as part of the BS skill would be time management because I was in eighth grade preparing to go to high school and I had all these extracurricular activities. I think I actually had my music, a recital, we do it like every year. I had it about the week before the B. She keeps the tunes going at home when she can find the time. Piano classes I had to take a little break from because of my spelling bee. A few days a week, she tickles the ivories to help her decompress from her jam-packed schedule. Music is my passion, so I love getting involved in it however I can. So you would think this music lover would follow that passion and turn it into a career, right? Think again. I really want to be a physician or be in the medical field because ever since like I was very young, I feel like medicine is a profession where you can give back in a unique way unlike any other. It was a peaceful evening. And she continues to give back through the Scripps National Spelling Bee, even though she can't compete again due to aging out at 14, and of course, winning after her fourth attempt at the competition. I'm still planning on working, volunteering as a judge, and helping plan bees and volunteering at local level bees as well. And speaking of bees, I couldn't leave without testing the champ with a mini spelling session of my own. Can I have the word one more time? Iwuchuku. I W A. C-H-U-K-U. In her defense. So that's why you couldn't get it, because it's not in the dictionary. <laughs> and we all know she knows a thing or two about dictionaries. 